Alright, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys like to watch Netflix. Like, I have Netflix myself, and it's a pretty big part of our culture, you know? Everyone just likes, you know, go and watch Netflix and binge watch a bunch of TV shows. And, you know, I'm one of those people, too. But it looks like recently Netflix has kind of fallen off the deep end and become a, um, a proponent of liberal propaganda and race-baiting culture and just overall supporting the uh, basically the policies of the leftist liberal media. And I'm kind of sad about that because I, I would like Netflix to you know stay away from that. Okay, they don't need to get into the super liberal mainstream media, but I guess, you know, they just fell off the deep end. And you're probably wondering, you know, what am I talking about? So, you know... I was on Twitter, essentially, I was just going through what is trending to see if there's, like, anything interesting, and I scrolled through, and down at, like, you know, I think it was, like, number seven, is called Dear White People, so I'm like, you know, that's interesting, what is the leftist liberal media complaining about now, so I just clicked on it, thinking that this would be kind of like a BuzzFeed video, you know, how they have those videos of, like, you know, 2017 resolutions for, you know, white people, complaining about how white people are just so racist, and, you know, culturally insensitive to everyone but I you know whatever so I clicked on it and no it does not turn out to be BuzzFeed it turns out to be Netflix okay and they have this new TV series or this new Netflix show that is just so unbelievable it is called as you can tell dear white people and after watching the trailer I was just like you know this is this is unbelievable okay like do they really think that white people are super racist but I, you know, watched the trailer, and essentially it was just showcasing a black radio host. She was, like, on the radio giving, like, a segment saying that it's okay for, you know, white people to dress up like pirates or, you know, slutty nurses or, and she quotes, like, you know, the 43 presidents. And she says it's not okay, though, to dress up like her or, you know, black people. And then it cuts to a montage of a bunch of, you know, white people that are partying and I guess they have like black sp spray paint or clay on their face I don't know but I can already tell you that I've never seen that ever happen I I, I just know why, why did they think why does Netflix want to appeal and make it seem like all these white people that are partiers they just go and dress up like black people like it's just so stupid like this race baiting crap that is infecting our culture and infecting our our minds it's just unbelievable see Netflix is just a more proponent now of just race baiting and trying to get the left to you know complain some more like all white people are not like that and I'm like a quarter Asian and I can already tell that no if someone dresses in a kimono or some kind of Asian clothing I don't care okay I have more important things to deal about than, than complain about someone dressing up like an Asian person okay so I don't know what it is with the leftist liberal media now infecting Netflix and making it seem like white people are super racist because, no, it's not true, okay? Why do they want to stir up more riots and more protests and just make it seem like white people are just the devils of the world? I mean, I was watching a uh, one of the, uh, you know, Senator Ted Cruz, he was giving, like, at the Senate, like, you know, he was talking, he's saying that, like, it's true that, you know, People make it out to seem like the conservatives are super evil and evil, not evil, but super evil, and Trump supporters are super racist. But I mean, the KKK was founded by Democrats, so I don't understand what it is with Netflix now making it seem, again, like white people are just super evil, and they just, everything they do is so culturally insensitive. But seriously, these people, all I could say is, you know, just get over it. Go do something else, okay? You probably would have something much better to do than complain about how white people are just so, you know, oppressing your culture. But seriously, most white people are not like that, okay? Yes, it's true. I'm, I'm sure some people do do that. But again, it's not all white people, and I'm pretty sure white people aren't the only ones that are doing that. See, I don't understand what it is. It's only, like, these, you know, the African-American uh, community that is always, you know, starting this stuff and complaining that, you know, life is just so unfair, but seriously, all these other minorities like Asians, Latinos, and I just, I, I'm, I'm in shock, really, at, at this, okay? I really don't get it at all. This is really sickening. And uh, thankfully, it has around 30,000 dislikes, but uh, I, 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 it's, it's honestly shocking because it's just really depressing now that places now like Netflix are being infected by the liberal mainstream media. So I don't understand what's going on. Maybe... The, uh, the dislikes will show that, you know, no one wants this crap, but, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today, guys. I, I, again, it's so shocking. What has the world come to? 
where this is actually a thing. But uh, anyway, guys, hopefully you have a great rest of your day. I know a lot of people now are like boycotting Netflix and canceling their subscription, so I expect the Netflix stock to go down, and uh, hopefully they're they're gonna realize that they made a mistake and stop doing this crap. Okay, so uh, you guys have a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you guys later. But uh, yeah, guys, peace.